Hello everybody, this is Mr. Kian. I'm here with the weekly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. This is for the week of today, April 22nd through April 29th. Okay, and we are going to see what energies are coming out. This reading is not going to be meant for everybody. It's not going to resonate with everybody. It will resonate with some people. Uh, what the, what resonates, you can you can keep. The rest leave behind. And make sure you check out your other signs for additional information. And little tidbits. Your one and your other signs may even resonate better. Okay. So we're going to see what messages come up for Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus for this week of April 22nd. I'm going to try to get through the rest of the signs. If I don't, the rest will be done tomorrow. Just so you know. Okay, what messages do you have? This card got stuck in the middle. The star card. So there's something that's going to be divinely guided. I'm keeping this card. I didn't know it was in there and it fell out. So there has to be a message dealing with the star. The star is also the, could be an Aquarius that you are dealing with. Sun, rising, moon, or Venus. Okay. Um, but I feel like there is something. Uh, somebody's wishing upon a star. Okay. And somebody's putting their wish out there into the universe and whatever the situation is it is being divinely guided i'm going to set that card aside okay i'm going to see how the rest of the cards line up and are related okay we have the knight of pentacles um this is the energy moving into this week which is could be about studying just saying this is definitely messages coming through usually written communications information somebody might be researching something that could be about researching and the eight of pentacles which is putting work into something and perfecting your craft the eight of pentacles is the apprentice okay there could be some an issue with school for somebody if somebody's in school or somebody might be just taking a class to, to continue educating themselves or furthering their education or some kind of training class through work just saying, um, or this is just somebody's investigating a situation they're putting a lot of hard work into. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see what else comes up. We have the magician. This is manifestation. Okay, this is instincts, following your instincts. Um, very primal. Somebody is probably trying to manifest something. And that goes right along with that star card that first came out from the other deck. Okay. So we were looking at the beginning part of the week about school or about investigating research. I feel like somebody is researching something that maybe before they put their energy into it, they're researching it. Somebody's also using their knowledge and resources at their fingertips. To find out more information about a situation okay um, I'm gonna take these as reverse because I think they were supposed to come out as reverse um, we have the guide and we which is temperance and we have the Queen of Wands reversed so I feel like somebody may have lost their drive Somebody is not feeling comfortable in their own skin. I'm just saying. Um, somebody put a wish out into the universe, but they're not listening to their gods. They're ignoring warning signs. They're ignoring. They're ignoring the messages and information that's being come, being put forth towards whatever this is that they're putting the work into. You're putting a lot of work. You're using your resources. Why aren't you listening to your guides? And this is, this is also about patience. Somebody does not have patience. 
the Queen of Rods reversed is somebody who is, um, sometimes she's represented as the other woman. Sometimes it's, um, she is represented as someone who does not have very high self-esteem. Okay, there's a lot of self-doubt with the Queen of Rods reversed. So I feel like this week is about self-doubts. You're wondering if you can really accomplish what you have, even though you have the resources, you have the know-how, you're, you're learning, you're putting work in, but you still have your doubts. Okay. You still have your doubts. This is coming up a lot, even in dailies. Three of Cups reversed. Perhaps you're investigating a friend. This is a group of friends. I'm feeling false friends. Okay, that... It could also be premature celebrations. I'm not quite sure what this is about. It's either premature celebrations or it's a three-party thing that you're trying to get out of, trying to dissolve. That might be what your research is about. You might be getting messages concerning this. Or this could be a false group of friends that is that, that you're getting information about or researching. Um, we have the nine or the king of cups reversed. So you could be, this could be a water sign. This could be you, Scorpio, somebody who doesn't, has no control over their emotions. Um, they may be shutting their emotions off, turning cold. Ace of Cups. I think somebody's turning away from the Ace of Cups. That's what it looks like. The King of, Cup, King of Cups is looking towards the past. Okay? Instead of looking towards the future. And we have the Six of Swords where you could be... You have an opportunity to head out of bad stormy waters into calmer waters. Into something better. But you're not looking that direction. It feels like that you can have an opportunity at the real thing, true love. Okay, but you're looking, you're still, you're looking, you're too much involved in the past. That's what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Okay. You're putting work into something from the past that is turning you cold. Your emotions are out of control. You have, you do not have mastery over your emotions. You may lose your temper very easily. The, the Queen of Rods reverse is somebody who loses their temper very easily. We have a man and woman here. This could be a couple. Bo both of them in a reverse position. Which is feeling like a false commitment. Somebody's ignoring the signs. And it's connected to both of you. Not facing your demons. And not allowing spirit to God. And somebody has is losing patience. The fun times might be ending. This might be what this is about. Fun times, going out with friends, being seen, might be coming to an end. Because it feels like the Knight of Cups is looking in a totally different direction. Or King of Cups, or Cauldrons, I mean. But right here, right at your head, this could also be divine wisdom coming to you, trying to feed you self-love. 
but you're not you're not accepting it but the big thing here is see their back is turned they're moving forward leaving the stormy past behind to go into something new by the end of the week that you could be there but right now and right now <coughs> You're still focused. You're focused on the past. <coughs> Excuse me. Past for friendships. A click. Past friendships. I feel false friendships. I'm sorry. Um. Somebody is trying to manifest love in their life. Somebody could even re be researching magic. Just saying. That is a possibility. This Knight of Pentacles could be part of this friendship. Steady and slow. But boring. I don't know where that came from, but I feel like somebody's bored. Okay? Just saying. Feels like somebody might be bored. <coughs> but we have the star card. If somebody's trying to manifest and they put a wish out there, they're wishing for true love. The real thing, not something fake. Both of these two are, are reversed, which is tell, showing me that it's a fake happiness. There's not real ha true happiness there. Spirit's coming in and trying to guide. Uh, the situation for it to resolve itself requires patience, and somebody doesn't have any patience. I feel like the past was never healed. So that is why somebody... This very well could be you, Scorpio, that keeps looking into the past. Because this is typically a water sign. This is um, typically a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. But somebody is looking into the past. It kind of stuck there. That's what I'm feeling. You're being divinely guided and you're not listening. And you're putting this wish out. Okay. Um, and there's that old saying, be careful what you wish for. And there could be two energies here, a water sign and a fire sign. There could be two other people in your life. Who knows? Um, I'm going to get some clarifying cards. I want to know why is the three uh, cauldrons reversed here? Why is the three of cauldrons reversed, please? Why is the Three of Cauldrons reversed? Because somebody doesn't have control. Or somebody's releasing a friendship. The, the Emperor reversed is, an, is a fire sign, like that's a fire sign. Um, the Emperor is, the, is Aries. Okay, we have Aries and Aquarius here. Okay, we also have water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that could be you, Scorpio. We have Earth here, pretty much have everybody here. Um, temperance, that is Sagittarius, another fire sign. Um, the High Priestess, reverse, this is secrets being revealed. Okay. There could be some kind of secret surrounding an Aries. 
that could be coming to the surface this week, which is causing an upset in your environment, in your friendships even, and turning things upside down. Okay, somebody's not listening to their inner guide, their intuition. Again, High Priestess Reverse is not listening to your intuition. That's not listening to your intuition. This is not being patient. This is secrets coming out. We have the chariot. Okay, somebody is driven by a goal. They have a specific goal in mind. And... They're so focused on it. I'm feeling to the point of point of obsession. Okay. Just saying. And the chariot um, is associated with cancer. So this could be a cancer that you're dealing with. As well. But there's definitely two people here. I'm feeling very strong Cancer, very strong Aries. But this is somebody, this could be involved travel, but this is somebody with a lot of drive. Very focused. Knows what they want and they're going after it. This Aries is reversed. So somebody... And Aries might be trying to put a screeching halt to a situation. But because their secrets are a stand to come out, they can shake up. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, okay, let's get some more cards here. We have the world. This is completion. This is cycles. So it feels like there's an ending to a situation. It's coming full circle. But I'm getting this Ace of Cups here. So you might, this might be the end of a cycle where you go towards an Aries or some other fire sign here. Because this water sign is facing and looking at the past. I, I just get the sense that when you stop looking at the past, you're going to find past. You're going to find true love. This is a cycle. Taurus is in this. Leo is in this. Um, Aquarius. And the other one, the fire sign is Leo, earth, air, water. This could be you, Scorpio, in this too. Because we have the bull and we have, yep, if you're involved, we've got Taurus and Scorpio, Aries, or not Aries, Aquarius, there's Aquarius right here, and Leo, there's a Leo here, Maybe, but there's some kind of co completion and starting a new cycle. I, this is what, just the theme for this week, but it feels like that there could be a new cycle beginning this week, just saying, Scorpio. There's a lot of signs involved. There might be a lot of people, a lot of hands in the pot. There might be a lot of people that have the influence over this situation. Whatever it is. You're not using your intuition in this to guide you. You need to. But there's some kind of cycle that is ending. There's like one thing's ending and another one is starting. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get an Oracle card.
But I definitely feel that there's going to be a decision here. It's going to have to be made. I feel like you're going to be in a position that you're going to have to try to walk away from the past. I get the feeling of walking away from the past, getting out of that storm. That always has you in an emotional mess. Okay. Getting back in control of things. Getting your emotions back in control. Letting spirit guide you. The hourglass. Time is of the essence. So I feel like the clock is ticking. Um, you're running out of time because I feel like there's something big that's going to be revealed. Um, this, some, whatever this is could cause an upset. Just saying. So you've really got to get shit together. Get a plan. Figure out where you're going. What you're going to do. Scorpio this week. Because time is running out. That's the hourglass. Okay. Time is running out. Um, one second here. I'm just going to take a look at the guidebook real quick. The hourglass. As the sands of the hourglass slip away, it reminds us that time is precious and of the essence. Don't hesitate. Take the initiative to act before it's too late. Okay, so I am definitely feeling like you're going to have a new offer of love, a chance to escape the past, leave the past behind you, move forward. But I feel like this opportunity is only going to be available to you for a short period of time that you, you have to stop hesitating and thinking about it. You want your love? Scorpio, now's the time to act. Okay, this is what I have for you. I do thank you for watching. Please do make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And leave a comment. If you like a personal rating, please do see the description box below. Thank you and have a great day.